Now in this session we are going to look at design of sequential circuits. Okay, so I am going to write over here this is about sequential logic design. Okay, design of generic sequential circuits. Okay, so first we are going to study over here what do we mean by state reduction okay just understand one thing depending upon how many states we have we have to decide how many flip-flops we have to use okay as we have seen if my for him for example i'm going for a up counter okay i want to design a mod n up counter then if i have let's suppose 30 states in my counter or it counts from 0 to 30 then you have this equation okay so what you get is your k is equal to 5 so you need to have 5 flip-flops okay your state reduction deals with if somehow your number of states can be reduced so that effectively number of flip-flops can be reduced okay at times we may have that one state is just a duplicate of another if we have such type of conditions then we can reduce the number of states effectively reducing the number of flip-flops which is going to reduce the cost of the design and circuitry okay so let's take an example and understand what state reductions mean okay for example let's suppose i have a state diagram which looks like this okay this is my first state or any state let's suppose this is a okay i have a b okay i have a g over here i have a c over here okay I have a D over here as well. I have a E. Okay. And I have a F. Okay. So these are my states. And let's look at the transitions. Okay. So my transitions are like this. In A, if you give 0, you get 0 and you reach back to A. Okay. From G, if you give 0 you get 0 and you reach to A from F if you give 1 you get 1 and you get back to F from E if you give 1 you get 1 and you reach to F your D to F transition is like this input 1 output 1 okay your c to d transition is like this input 1 output 0 your d to e transition is like this input 0 output 0 okay your e to a transition is like this your input is 0 your output is also 0 B to C transition happens like this 0 slash 0 A to B transition happens like this 1 input 0 output B to D transition happens like this 1 input and 0 output okay so this is I guess your state diagram one more we are going to have f to g and g to f f to g transition is 0 slash 0 and g to f transition is 1 slash 1 okay when you give 1 as input you get 1 as output this is your state diagram we are going to now see if we can reduce the number of states over here okay this is basically a finite state machine right it is a graphical representation of a finite state machine we are just trying to understand and see if we can reduce number of states over here let's see how we do that so your first step in state reduction process is to create a state table okay so what is a state table